Go Chargers! We know that. We're <laughs> it's just a big game today, but we're outside on the patio talking about muscles here. Um, let me ask you, Chef Chris, uh, how difficult is this to make? Uh, it's not that difficult. Um, we have a lot of uh, locally sourced and uh, specialty Italian ingredients that we're going to use today. But uh, if you can get some mussels and clams at home, you can have no problem whipping this dish up for yourself. Okay. All right. So what's the key? Uh, the key is cooking them fast and not too long. You overcook them, they're going to get rubbery. And uh, if you undercook them, well, they're not going to open up. So uh, you won't have much to eat. So. It okay. seems like an intimidating dish, but one of the many dishes we can get at Double Standard, which is the restaurant, yeah, right? right? Tell us all about it and some of the favorites there. Uh, well, D Double Standard Kitchenette is like the newest uh, uh, hot restaurant down in the gas lamp. We're on um, 6 and G. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a, a Italian style, almost small plates, almost like a tapas style. Love um, that. Bring in lots of people, order a whole bunch of small dishes, and everybody gets a little bite of everything. Isn't that the best, though? And I see that absolutely. a lot of places in downtown are doing the same thing because people now are trying to be more foodies and taste a little bit of everything. Right, right, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we try to take that and, and make it very approachable. And we also have a... Um, uh, pizzas that mm -hmm. are uh, incredible. We have, I would go ahead and say the best pizza in San Diego. Beautiful. I'm going to so. let you start cooking. Um, go for it. I'll get out of the way. All right, so we're Just talk us through it. All right, so we're starting with a little oil. Okay. Get all the heat here. You need to get really ah! hot pan. There, a little splatter. Okay. I'm a little excitement. <laughs> Stay right. away. And then this is, uh, this is an Andusia sausage, which is the uh, Italian version of chorizo. Okay. Oh. We're going to put that in the pan. Uh -huh. Kind of render out some of that fat, get all the flavor out of it. And this is a sausage that I actually make in house. Um, and um, you do? I use, yeah, How do you I use, do that? Uh, I use beef, uh, beef dry aged ribeye fat, and um, pork, and uh, a lot of Italian spices, um, mm. uh, mainly paprika, it and um, really good. oregano right from Sicily, mm, the special yeah. we're in. And then we're gonna just run it out some of that fat. How long does this take? Because I feel like if you're going to cook these, it's going to go pretty fast once yeah. you get going. I think total cook time is probably about three or four minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're going to put our mussels and clams in. Uh -huh. Gosh, it looks amazing. Give them a little toss. Get them kind of toasted. Mm. We want all that fat to coat the outside of the shell. Really use the, the heat from the sausage to get the mussels and clams to open up mm. a little bit. Uh -huh. And that's when you know they're done. Oh, yeah, after they're going to open up. Maybe about a minute after they're open, that's when they're going to be at their best. Okay. So, uh, next, we're going to go in with some aromatics, some garlic, mm -hmm. and shallots. Mm -hmm. Nice big chunks of garlic. Italian restaurant, we want garlic to be like a forest flavor. Mm -hmm. And the next thing going in is sofrito, which is uh, carrots, onions, and, and garlic, oh. uh, confit, and oil. So, confit, of course, is just uh, a very slow and low cooking process. So, that'll cook for about an hour. Beautiful. Before. Aromatic indeed. Even with yes. the stuffy nose, I can and smell these it. Are, these are uh, Calabrian chilies that uh, I take at the restaurant, and um, and I put uh, a small amount of salt with them and allow them to ferment, and it gives them a, a really, really deep, deep flavor. It takes away a little bit of the heat and really uh, really brings out like a really roundness of flavor. All right. So I'm that kind of starting there. to see things open up here. Oh, yeah. All They're right. starting to open up a little bit. Uh -huh. And then here comes the fun part, the white wine. All right. And Right. And this is our shellfish broth that we make at the restaurant as well. Jeez, wow. that looks incredible. Yeah. Oh, that smells so really good. Like and then just a very, 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 very small amount of butter going to go in here. Okay. Okay. That's, that's a, your yeah, small that's amount? A, yeah, not that's too much butter. Whole, we don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Just, just a cool. pinch. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to stir this in. And now the butter is actually going to help in thicken up this broth and give it some richness. Okay. And then with all that richness, we're going to use a little lemon. And that's going to cut through and um, so once it's all really done, round out the plow. What's the best way to eat it? Um, well, my favorite way to eat it, uh, it's served with bread at the restaurant. Oh, perfect. Um, so my favorite thing to do is to kind of pick up all the shells. I actually like to empty all the shells out into the broth and yeah. then just use the bread as my spoon oh, and kind of yeah. scoop everything out. Yeah. Um, but uh, at the restaurant, we've actually had a lot of people using pizza crust to, oh, to yeah, dip in there. Good. And uh, I mean, our crust is incredible. Um, wow. We're sourcing um, flour from uh, Italy for the pizza. Beautiful. And um, our cheese is made here in California. Um, Chef in Chris, Slocan what's this made. called again? Uh, this is this is the Andusia mussels and clams. All right, this is all again at the Double Standard over on G and Six. You can go ahead and check out this new restaurant. We'll be right back with more Good Morning San Diego, but that is starting to smell really good.